Okay, this is skill number 270, solving quadratics using absolute values. All right, to be able to really understand this problem, I think you should look at a simpler problem first. What if it's just x squared equals 16? If I was solving this, I would take the square root of both sides, and then I'd have the absolute value of x is equal to the square root of 16, which is 4. Now, some people don't understand that. They think it's plus and minus 4. It's not. The square root of 16 is just 4. All right, and if you don't believe me, try it on the calculator. Type in the square root of 16, it'll tell you 4. And try typing in the square root of x squared. If you graph that, if you graph y equals the square root of x squared, it'll show you that it's the absolute value of x. If you look at the graph, it'll look like this, which is the graph of y equals x squared, or sorry, absolute value of x. So that's a little background for why we have to do it this way. You can't just uh, take the square root and have this be x minus 5. It's not. And you take the square root of both sides, it's the absolute value of x minus 5 is equal to 4. And then I split it into two things. This You might want to go watch the video for absolute values if you need to. Is x minus 5 is equal to 4, and x minus 5 is equal to negative 4. And then I solve my little too many equations. Add 5 to both sides, x equals 9. Add 5 to both sides, x equals 1. So 1 and 9 are the two answers that you'd get. All right, if I could double check that, I can take the 9, stick it in here, and I'd have 9 minus 5 is 4, 4 squared is 16. And this one, if I stick the 1 in here, 1 minus 5 is negative 4, negative 4 squared is 16. So those are my two answers. You need the absolute values here to do this problem and you get two answers. That's all I got for you. Have a great day.